Um, this next poem is not about love. It's about the only one that isn't. Um, it came out of a workshop exercise, which was this was part of an allographic writing, as as Ron was mentioning. Um, the exercise was to write a letter to an inanimate object. And I decided to write a letter to the letter I was in the process of writing. And it ended up like this. My dear, good starter, eh? Note the neat, nay, artful way I've got around the greeting bit. Avoided self-defeating it in endless metatextual loops, tail chasing to infinity. Instead, my dear, affectionate, sincere, and yet succinctly circumspect, safely unspecific. A nifty fit, you must admit, and take my word, you must. You have no say, you see, <laughs> an irony not lost on me, given that saying is the why, the what, the be and all of you, is in a very real sense, the thing you do. But that's the deal, a contract worth the paper you are being written on. Should its terms appear unusual, duress, let me impress on you. It was ever thus, and with good cause. Creators must, by nature, be dictators. And as one such, I remain forever yours. Thank you.